18 year old Viz University first year student was stabbed three times to death by an ex-boyfriend. She was allegedly killed by a man whom she refused to be in a relationship with. Kwasa's heartbroken friends have created a hashtag justice for Kwasa on Twitter. South Africa have joined hands on Twitter to seek justice for her. Kwasa joined many other women that are killed in gender-based violence in South Africa. Kwasa posted in January 2020 an inspiration post about her life on social media. She says, to those who didn't obtain the marks they wanted, it's okay. In 2018, I was doing grade 12 and I passed with a B and two distinctions. Yes, I was happy with my distinctions, but my maths and physics were very low. Not that low, but I wasn't satisfied. And I didn't get the course I wanted. Like I went back to school. To be honest, it wasn't easy, guys. It took some courage. 2019, I worked even harder. There is great improvement, guys. Giving up is not an option. Dust yourself up and go back to school if you feel like it. Don't suffer from Bazotini Abantu syndrome. She posted again on the 17th January 2020. I still remember in grade 9, when we were given a LO project, it was about careers. I wrote about being a medical doctor and I said I wanted to study and fit. My teacher asked me that, are you sure you wanted to be a doctor? I said yes. She asked me that if I don't qualify to be a doctor, what will I study? I said I don't know. So in grade 11, I saw my report in my physical science mark was very low. And I remembered my teacher's words. I went online and searched about it. I saw an interesting course which is biological sciences. I fell in love with it. So I decided to make it my second choice. When I was in grade 12, I wrote an NBT. It was very hard. My NBT results came back. I was rejected in both courses. To cut the long story short, I repeated grade 12 and applied at WIT for the same course. I wrote NBT again, I passed and I was rejected in medicine. But my other choice, I waited for metric results. On the 10th January, when I checked my portal, they offered me a place to study. I accepted the offer, now I will be doing what I love in my dream university. Moral of the story, never give up when things go wrong. God has a plan for you. Kwasa's heartbroken friends have created hashtag for Kwasa on Twitter, under which they are pleading for police minister Begitele's intervention. Dear minister, we need your intervention on this one. A 19-year-old was stabbed to death by an ex-boyfriend in Eastern Cape. She reported to the police and opened a case against him when the abuse started to happen, but she didn't receive any help. We need justice for Kwasa, one of the friends wrote under the hashtag. Judging from the heartbreaking messages Kwasa's friends and people who knew her are currently posting on social media, she was a bright young girl whose life was cut short by another human being. Hashtag justice for Kwasa.